Yeah, starts heading towards the top lane. Still has yet to get hold of level two. Meanwhile, you see V as he's going to get a stun in solo here. Locked in place. Will he be taken down for Grave? No, he gets the Grave off with four life to spare. Walks away, and that pesky dazzle will live on. Meanwhile, Dendi eating big, big damage, forces a step back from Gyrocopter's output. X nice gonna be pop. There's your Ravage, catches very nicely, and at the same time, Yoki pulled out Chrono. So that Chrono not gonna come out to anything, and now Yoki's under pressure. Havo steps in, Reaper Sight, though. It's not gonna happen. And now they end up turning and bursting down Dazzle. Navi still holding strong for now. Empire corralled behind their own tower. And it looks like it's going to be Yoki who's going to be able to retreat away from this one. But Phonix not letting up yet. And same with Dendi with his own blink. Jumps in. Nice storm hammer. Locks on two. Can they take down Yoki? He's able to bring weapon. <laughs> Backtrack's still coming out. But he does get the right click right there. And they anchor smash home. You're able to reduce your death timers a ton. Increase their death timers a ton. And fight in between the late game oh, chronospheres. No. Nice swap back into Reaper Scythe. And boom. Oh. 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 takes on death problem. But they actually want to fight still. Empire. Oh, this is a bad call. They Trying to go in, and now it's just Silent and Yoki trying to be able to open up. But Silent gets caught as well, and he is going to be forced to go back. Not the best positioning for Chrono. Not the best fight to take Jeez. whatsoever. And it's just an immediate team wipe. Ward area. Uh-oh. But he might cross uh -oh. past here. Oh, no. He's going to see what's happening. Oh, man. It Bad news there. Seal is so quick and instant. Oh, boom. Off with his head. He's down for another 30 seconds. He'll take the bottom tier, too. And honestly, like, when they look for the high ground right here. Oh, go again, again. Always want to fly. Not wow. the place you want to be, but a nice shallow grave keeps him up. That's probably was pushing top lane, but now has came in, pulled out the exorcism, and they're looking to take down Dendi. This is big damage, and with that silence out on the side of Empire, they can take him down and take a big team fight here. They can look to break high ground. So we'll see them just uh, finding the try looking for the pick and oh solo oh, just says hello. Take him down. Oh, that's so it could be disastrous for them if they stay in the pit and they get uh, oh. destroyed by Navi. But if they don't scout it oh, out, we're gonna know. it's huge. Phonic has a blink ravage oh, ready. Oh no! The Weaver puts out. A nice weave, or sorry, the weave is not put out on Navi regardless, but they jump in immediately. Silent gets grave so preemptively, he will live. He BKs B and he's gonna get out what he can while he's still alive. Oh my god! It does take down Havos. Havos will like 15 seconds, will be right back in it, so they lose two on each side. But Dendi now chopping it home, able to get down the kill, take out another. He fires back, turns his tights towards Solo and bursts him home. Ultra kill for Dendi, the big splash, the red man. Cleaves it on home and clears out the rest of Empire. And now we'll finish off what they started on Roche. And Necro just coming right back into it. So it's okay, kill me once, kill me twice, whatever. I'll be right back in. Dendi actually dies to Roche! And the Aegis is something. What? Uh, Dendi died to Roche. And he just goes down immediately. He just puts himself out of his own misery at that point, but... <laughs> oh my Classic. gosh. Classic. Both. Exactly. Exactly. There's no better way to put it. He got body blocked by the Death Ward. I was like, why isn't he Why isn't he just jumping in the... Oh, Yoki gets fixed. Oh, yeah, observer one. So it's a really, really powerful combo. Yeah. And uh, here comes the Chrono. Blinking in, though. Chrono's going to catch the two. Death Ward's down, but immediately... Oh, my God! Not one, but two big ravages that stops any sort of Death Ward nonsense. They quickly clean out Yoki. They get rid of that Death Drop, and they cut down the Witch Doctor. And they are just Silent. cleaning out the House of Empire right now. But Silent is going to be the next striking place, because if something goes big here, they could always fall back onto a Roche if they can't quite break into the base, but take down a couple of Empire members, so... The most creeps forward, Swap's oh. gonna be there. Nice full range use, brings resolution all the way back, and they burst her down quickly. Oh. A secondary Ravage locks her enough so they can't take her apart. Silent also goes down. Now this Navi setup is what they were looking for, and it immediately props to GG. This time, Funnick hits a home run with not one, but two Ravages that Empire cannot come back from. Tidehunter is a very good hero. <laughs> Yes, he is. Uh, getting the refresher of that early on, there's just no answer for Frampa. They were exhausting BKBs every fight. Uh, you saw, Havos didn't even use the Reaper Scythe there. He didn't need to. Like, that's not a 